have an ungodly hour. Did I say something at dinner that I should know about? No, I'm just exhausted, is all. Look, you can, uh, you can spend the night. You can crash here. I, uh, I can get you to work in the morning. I'll sleep on the couch. No funny <laughs> business, I promise. Of course, if you start Look, any funny business. I have this rule. Yeah. No sleepovers on a first date. Right. Unless the involved fits your pajamas. Perfect. Do you like cowboys or dinosaurs? So I got both. Well, then maybe I should have some coffee. All right. I have, I've got a French press. <clears throat> got it. Oh, God. Got it. Yep. What's going on? <laughs> I can't stay. Yeah, you can. Hey, right. <laughs> Billy. Uh, <clears throat> sure you can. You have cats? No, I don't. I hate cats. Why would I have a cat? I have to get out of here no, no. before my face falls up and, and my lungs collapse. Let's and, talk and... about this. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What? Oh, what the hell? You told me you had no pets. That is not mine. That. Okay. I will not be like. Hey, 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 Billy! Billy! I do not know how it got out of its cage. You brought a ferret into my house. Look, I was just trying to do Sandy a favor, okay? My place has a strict no pets clause. What, this is Sandy's ferret? Sandy's okay. niece. Okay, she went to Asia for six months and then. Sandy was going to watch it, but her landlady's like, the ferrets are disease carriers, which is a total fallacy, by the way. All right, look, okay, the ferret is out. I want my keys back, and you no longer have privileges at my place. All right, that's fair. Hey, what's going on with your new assignment? You were telling me about this chef. Yeah, Dylan Morris, he's, uh, this guy, he's testifying against a mob boss. Are you serious? The witness protection guy? Mm -hmm. That's huge news. It's everywhere. Yeah. It's like Goodfellas meets Emerald. Sure. Wow. Yeah. So what are you going to do for him? I mean, read him his last rites? I don't know. I don't know. If I knew, I... Yeah, you wouldn't tell me. Right. right. That's fine. It doesn't bother me. You okay with that? Yeah. I lied. It bothers me. Hey. I'm thinking about... Barn. A barn? One of those old, not quite falling down places that you'd see out in the country. Uh, there's one in Prince Edward County I've had my eye on. Unfortunately, Dylan, I don't think that you're going to be opening up any restaurants and witness protection, but. Hey, sorry I'm late. That makes you feel better to fantasize. Well, it's certainly better than thinking so, about what's going on. I put into my head at any moment. Uh, that's Dylan Morris, our star witness. Right. In the next two weeks until trial, we will have people on all of our witnesses, 24-7. We've got you covered. <laughs> Says the spider to the fly. And who's this? That's the Crown Counsel, Isabel DeSante. I want to take you back to the night of the shooting. Wow, you don't bore easily. The jury hasn't heard it. The Crown Counsel is worried that Dylan's testimony won't be enough. Klein wants us to dig up whatever we can. Which is why you're here. We're hoping there's something he might have overlooked. Something he might be seeing. But not saying. So the last customer had gone. My cousin Jack, he manages the restaurant for me. He and I are going over the evening's totals and we hear an argument. So I go into the wine bar. I see Will, my business partner. He's having it out with Zapata. Your other business partner. Can you tell the court how you first came to meet Nick Zapata? This is for all the marbles, Dylan. You screw up on the stand, the whole case goes belly up. And so do I. Is that what you were going to say? Shall I repeat the question? Before Sterling got involved, I went to Zapata for some startup cash. <laughs> yeah, the two of them never got along from the beginning. And I did everything in my power to keep them apart. Clearly, they made an arrangement to meet at the restaurant after it had closed. Second shot. Sterling stopped moving. And I was afraid that Zapata was going to do me too. He just dropped the gun me to clean up, and then he left. Well? I saw what he described, exactly how he said it. No question. 
No, no. But he seems a bit nervous. Yeah, well, the man's about to put away a mob boss. I think you'd be nervous, too. his business partner, Will Sterling, yelling at big-time crime boss Nick Zapata about how he wants his investment back. And then in front of Dylan, Zapata kills Sterling. Well, let's hope it's enough for the jury. So, in the beginning, Dylan covered up the murder, right? Yeah, that was our bargaining chip. We don't prosecute in exchange for Zapata's testimony. Well, and then he points a finger at Zapata, and, I mean, doesn't that feel a little self-serving? That's the downside of flipping a co-conspirator. Hopefully the jury sees Zapata as the greater evil. Right. Dylan's cousin Jack is on his way up if you want to observe, and one of my people is on the sous chef, Magda Desmond, so that should do us for the witnesses. Isabel, I'd like you to meet Toby Logan. Toby, this is the Crown Counsel, Isabel DeSante. Pleasure, Mr. Logan. Enchanté. Mr. Logan is our resident consultant on facial expressions. Stuff like that. Mm. So tell me, how do you know if a witness is lying? Their lips are moving. <laughs> Remind me to get you to screen my next jury pool. Thank you. Jack? How you doing? Oh, hanging in there, you know. You? Good. I'm getting kind of tired of coming to this place, though. Right this way, Mr. Nassiter. It'll all be over soon, all right? Bye. Right. Should have been me that walked into that wine bar instead of Dylan. The guy who's done time for aggravated assault would have been a better peacemaker, is that it? Like I said, I'm not proud of my past. I did some things, things I paid a price for. But Dylan, he helped me get around that. And in gratitude, you hooked him up with Zapata. My cousin came to me for help. His restaurant was going under. What's so difficult for you to get about that? Oh, we get that he was in trouble, but not everybody goes to the mob for a loan. Well, not everybody's tapped out at the banks, you know what I mean? I'm supposed to sit there and watch my cousin's dream go up in smoke? when I had a direct line to some easy money? It's two weeks from now. You're talking to the jury. We're sitting there, we hear this yelling, and it's obvious it's coming from the wine bar. So I get up to go and have a look, but Dylan's like, no, 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 no. I'll go see. I hear two shots. I go for the wine bar. I see Zapata running out. I go in, find Sterling dead. See, now Zapata says that it was you who had the bad blood with Sterling. That if anyone had motive, it was you. He says a lot of things. But you don't deny wanting Sterling out. I knew bringing him aboard would be bad news. But Dylan, he had big plans. He wanted to expand and whatnot. Then, bang, bang, the dream's over. Anything? Well, the only difference between his memory and Dylan's memory is that Jack offered to go check out the argument. Other than that, pretty much the same. Sorry, uh, Amy Sterling, the victim's wife, she's downstairs. Okay, have her come up. Actually, she was hoping that she didn't have to. I wish I had more confidence that monster will be convicted. Well, the Crown Council believes she can make her case. <laughs> I can barely get that woman to return my calls. She's doing everything she possibly can, I promise you. People say Zapata is too powerful to be touched. Not this time. When Will found out who his partners really were, he felt like he'd been kicked in the gut. We were blindsided. And now he's dead, and the whole world thinks Will was a crooked businessman. I can't even begin to imagine how difficult this has all been for you. They killed my husband. Then they destroyed his reputation. I can't bring him back. I just want to save his good name. We will. Don't, don't irritate it. It can't get out, right? I mean, everything is... No, 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 no. Secure. How's it gonna get out? It doesn't have opposable thumbs. 
Well, I guess, look, if it's for Sandy, I guess you can keep it in the locker room. Thanks, sir. I really appreciate it. it smells bad enough in there as it is. Right. So, uh, how long do you figure it's gonna... Or, I mean, it or she or whatever is gonna be here? Oh, just a couple days. I mean, my parents were gonna take it, but they live above their restaurant, so they can't... Uh... Hey, wait a second. You wouldn't consider... Consider what? Taking the thing. I mean, you got kids. I know you love your kids. I mean, yeah. this thing is hours of fun. Look at, look at the way it's playing Let's with those slippers. It, Mr. Bay. It's just like, I couldn't think of a nicer family and a, and a better home, really. I said no. You want to drop the case? Not at all. In fact, I want to raise the ante. I'm sorry, are you trying Zapata on murder charges or not? What Isabel's getting at. Thank you, Alvin, but I think that I can get at what I'm getting at. You traded your little fish, Chef, for a bigger fish, Zapata. Now I want to use Zapata to trade up to the really big fish. Well, now I know I'm missing something. We had an unexpected breakthrough late last night from Interpol. We think that we can tie Zapata to an international money laundering scheme involving hundreds of millions of dollars. Great, so we can get him for murder and money laundering. Why throw out the baby with the bathwater? It's not about throwing anything out, Michelle. It's, it's about... about using it. Leverage. We plea bargain our way into a case against the international syndicate. And you think he's going to give up his crime pals to beat a murder rap? If he thinks that the murder rap is going to stick, then yeah, you bet. You support this? Uh, I'd like to accuse myself, if possible. I've been working this case since we took over for Metro. Getting Dylan to turn wasn't exactly a matter of saying please and thank you, and now you want me to tell him to just forget it? She's got a point. What happens if your star witness gets cold feet on the day of trial? But then you lose the pat on murder and any chance of landing the whales that he was swimming with. She's also got a point. Well, I just told Will Sterling's widow that the man who killed her husband would pay. Well, that's a limb that you went out on, Sergeant McCluskey. Not me. I don't know what you hope to get from dragging me down here again. Well, it's not the murder that I'm so interested in, per se, Mr. Zapata. It's a trip that you took to Europe last fall. October 2nd. This is you emerging from a bank in Zurich. No. Those two gentlemen that you're with there, they've since been brought up on money laundering and racketeering charges. Some people just take the wrong path in life. Well, maybe you're not aware, but new international banking regulations require reporting of suspicious transactions. Well, that's good to know. Arthur, take a note of that. Now, we know that you opened a common account with both of those gentlemen, and that withdrawals and deposits from said account are in excess of $10 million a month. What do you got against the businessman trying to make a legitimate living? You go to trial in two weeks for the murder of Will Sterling. A murder I did not commit. Well, I have an eyewitness that says different. And quite frankly, Mr. Zapata, with your background, I don't see a jury being disabused of that notion. Arthur, she's now accusing me of abusing the jury. No, Mr. Zapata, what I'm saying What the Crown need... Council wants is for you to give evidence against these men and others in exchange for the murder charges being dropped. Well, that is very interesting. Isn't that interesting, Arthur? gals just blew it. I'm sorry? You told us you have nothing. I said no such thing. Your murder case just flamed out. We know you were at the restaurant that night. I never said I wasn't. You got into a heated exchange with Mr. Sterling. Because he was scum. I told you he wanted to pull his money out. Jack was furious. He had more of a beat than I did. When I left, they were still going at it. And like I told you ten times, Jack should be on trial here, not me. And as far as your plea bargain, you could shove it, lady, because the only deal I'm interested in from you is for you to drop all the charges and make a public apology. It's safe to say that that didn't go well. Well, it might have gone better if you'd let me do the talking, but I guess you got what you wanted. Now, offering to negotiate the murder charges showed weakness. Michelle, this is not the slam dunk case that you seem to think that it is. Dylan Morris could be playing us for fools, hoping that we put away a very powerful man who wants him dead. If we don't get him on money laundering, you better hope to hell that the murder charge sticks, because if Zapata doesn't go down, one of us just might. <clears throat> we better find some new evidence soon, or this trial could be over before it starts. No pressure. So you're saying that Zapata threw the wine glass and then left? Yeah. He never fired the shot? No, uh, 
uh, I mean, I mean, the read ended before a shot was fired. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say Dylan has rehearsed the story so many times that when he when he tells it, what he sees, what I saw, it's the fictional version of what actually happened. Which means Zapata could be telling the truth. Jack shot Sterling, and Dylan is covering for him. Let's go talk to the chef. This is my associate, Toby Logan. How you doing? I brought you some cannoli from Scarcelli's. I appreciate the thought, but Scarcelli's isn't quite the restaurant it used to be. Okay, well, if you don't want them, I'll take them home. Uh, no. No, 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 that's fine. I can stay. So, what's up? You are aware that the terms of your witness protection are null and void if you perjure yourself on the stand, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who said anything about perjury? When did you say you bought these? It's a gift. If you don't want them, I'll... That's day old. Do you see how soft the pastry is? You don't speak day old. Have you been completely honest with me and the Crown Council? Do you think I'm crazy? You think I'm gonna screw around with my life on the line? You knowingly got into business with the mob. <sighs> yeah, I think you're, you're capable of high-risk behavior. What is this really about, Sergeant? Why suddenly you don't trust me? I don't think trust was ever in the equation. Simple question. How did Will Sterling end up dead at your restaurant? Sterling found out about the operation. And he wants a piece. That cannot happen. I told you it was trouble from the beginning. So let's get him down here right now. It was Zapata. Look, I don't know how many ways I can, I can say this. You're forgetting who's on trial here. I'm the one that's put my neck on the line to bring down a guy that you couldn't lay a glove on. Yeah, and when the trial is over, we can show our appreciation. Well, perhaps you could show it now. I, I wanted uh, to cook one last supper, if you will. For the three of us that started the restaurant. Me, Jack, Magda. It'd mean a hell of a lot to me. You're a target, Dylan. I don't think you want to show up at your own restaurant this close to the trial. The defense is going to scream collusion. It's over anyway. You know, whether I take a bullet or, or end up in some godforsaken suburbia, I'm done. I'm done. Dylan, Jack, and Zapata met the night before Sterling arrives. They were talking about how Sterling had found out about the big money laundering operation. The international scheme that Interpol turned up. Right. Now, I can't figure out if Sterling wanted a cut of it or if he wanted hush money. Right, and Zapata wasn't having it. Right, neither was Jack. So then what happened? Well, that's it. I need another crack at them. I got to get them with their guards down. Yeah, OK. I just need to figure out how to tell Isabel all of this without letting her know where I got my information. Figure it out. say you want to go after the big fish. Well, Sterling was killed because he threatened to expose those big fish. And you know this suddenly how? I reviewed all the physical evidence in light of the new Interpol information, including everything Sterling left behind. He was researching a bunch of companies the days before he died. Nothing looked suspicious. We thought he was just looking for new investments. But now... You think they could be tied to our global money launderers? Yeah. OK, say Sterling stumbled upon the bigger scheme. Maybe he went to Zapata and threatened exposing them with it. You think? Why wouldn't Sterling go to the authorities? Because the authorities don't pay extortion fees. Seems like nobody's hands were clean in this one. Yeah, but only one person pulled the trigger. She knows about us. Michelle? Uh, she's pretty smart, but I think we've been pretty discreet. 
forgetting the odd copy room encounter. <laughs> well, I wish that I was as confident about her smarts as you are. Trust me, there's nobody better. Uh, thanks to her, I built a case on marginal evidence and witnesses who stand to gain from the prosecution of Nick Zapata. Are you sure this is about the case? It's not just about two accomplished, ambitious women letting their personal animosity get in the way of their professional duty? We have a history. Something I don't know about? Yeah, well, that's because she made sure it never crossed your desk. We had a run-in. You remember those arrests in the financial district last Christmas? Well, she accused me of grandstanding because I insisted that there was press at the perp walk. Mm -hmm. I said some things that I shouldn't. And we never did work it out. Answer it. I'm going to take a shower. Hey. Hey. Am I calling too late? No, no, it's fine. Where are you? Me? Um, um, you know, I'm at home. I think you, uh, I think you left the shower running. What's on your mind? I have a proposition for you. I'm all ears. Well, good. Bring your ears and your playmate down here first thing in the morning, and I will explain. Crap. He wants to go back to the restaurant and cook a final meal. He is very passionate about it. And of course, he wants to invite the other witnesses. Look, I know it sounds like a bad idea, but just think about it for one minute here. We could bug the entire place. There would be no chance of them colluding without our knowing. We may learn more in four hours than we did in four months. And none of it is admissible. Yeah, I could seek a court order, but then we risk entrapment. The wine would certainly flow. Lips would loosen. It's not the worst idea I've ever heard. I have a far more prosaic concern, security. How much safer is he pinned to a hotel room? Look, I'll make sure the entire place is locked down. And I suppose that you wouldn't want to chill the conversation with your presence. No, I'll have a man there. Let me guess your behavioral whiz. Mr. Logan. Yes. Yeah, you want to prove that you're right that much. No, I want to get to the truth that much. Dinner at 8, back in their cages by 12. Armed escorts both ways. All raw intel comes directly to me. This backfires, I will deny that I ever agreed to it. There. I knew we'd find some common ground. Jeez, I'll do like a cavity search with dinner. Give me a call if you need anything, man. Yeah, I will. Hey, let me ask you a question before you go. Sure. What? Ryder seem like he's acting strange to you lately? No, not really. I don't know, he seems kind of touchy. Like moody, sullen, not really himself. No, that it seems pretty normal to me. Look, I, uh, I'm a little busy with this case right now, so I don't really want to go. Yeah, it was worth okay. a shot. OK. I got to go feed the ferret. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? Are you uh, sure you don't want to join me for dinner? No, I'm good. All right. But uh, I'm just going to be right around the corner if you need anything. OK. These guys are going to let me in? Yeah, you're good. All right. Mr. Logan, right? Yeah, I'm Jack. Hey, what can I get you? I'll take uh, two fingers of your best Irish. You bet. Sorry, gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Hey, Jack. I see you met Mr. Logan. Toby. You can call me Toby. Please tell me Magda's in there. She's been chopping and mincing since five. Care to see the kitchen? Sure. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Nice. Magda, this is Toby Logan. Hey. hey. How you doing? Toby is a cop who is not here for food, but will pretend otherwise. Mmm. Love lobster. We just use it to perfume the white asparagus. OK, shoot. No one is allowed in my kitchen unless they're prepared to work in it. It's not your kitchen yet, Magda. Sorry. Slip of the tongue. Mm. Killer. Who 
wants to get fed? What the hell are you doing here, Mr. Bay? Came to feed the ferret, sir. What are you doing here? I moved out. Of your house? Yes, of my house. Oh. Well, uh... May I ask the nature of the problem? <laughs> the nature? My wife kicked me out. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Is it another woman? <laughs> no, no, um... Apparently, the problem is me. Can you believe that? All me. And, uh... My anger. She wants me to go to... Anger management, and I said no. Well, I don't know what to say. You can say good night, Mr. Bay. Okay, good night. Uh, can I feed the ferret, or what do you want to do? You know what? I'm sure I can take care of that. Okay. Half a half a light bulb should be fine. Sorry, I'm breaking up. Sorry. Always remember the happier times. Salut. I'm going to get the dessert. Oh, pardon me. Would you mind telling me what the point of all this is? Well, I don't know. The end of my life as I know it. Uh, maybe I'd mark the occasion. You're not the only one whose life's going to change. You know what, Jack? Have a drink. In fact, have a bunch of drinks. Is that supposed to make it all better? Is that gonna get us our lives back? Not Dylan? Look, I wanted to make sure that you, me, and Magda were on the same page, that's all. How do I know what you're telling the cops is the same thing you're telling me? Get all paranoid on me now, Jack. They're already asking about my being pissed off that Sterling was brought in. We all stick to the same story. And nobody gets hurt. Voila! Creme brulee. Thank you. Do you mind? Of course. Listen, I, uh, I gotta check in with my boss. Short leash? Something like that. I know the feeling. Must be a little nerve-wracking with the trial coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Takes a lot of guts to stand up to a guy like Zapata. I'm not so sure guts is the right word. It's more like death wish. So this must be where you passed Zapata, right? What? Well, I read your deposition. You said that you passed Zapata as you were coming into the wine bar and he was leaving. He is going to bring all of us down! End this right now. End it right now. Do it! Zapata and Sterling. Yeah, Zapata put the gun in Jack's hand and, and Jack is apparently the one who shot Sterling. Okay, well, let's see if you can put Dylan through his paces again. I'm gonna text you some questions I'd love to get answered. All right, got it. Mm, three words, unfreaking believable. This is, wow. Anyone can give you the taste, but it's the aromatics, the mouth feel. That's what's sublime. 
I noticed uh, on your wine list earlier that you had no five so turn. That's my favorite. Excellent choice. I've got a bottle in the wine bar. Hey, give me two sacks. Do you mind if I join you? Please. Ah. After you. Something on your mind, Mr. Logan? I don't really think you're interested in the wine bar. No, I'm not. It's a nice wine bar, though. Just, uh, I've become aware of a few new facts. Oh? Yeah, we can confirm that Sir brought a gun to the restaurant that night. I told you that from the start. Not exactly a revelation. True, but the fact that he gave it to Jack and told him to shoot Sterling is. Now, that's ridiculous. Sir is just trying to save his skin. End it. were trembling. Maybe he missed on purpose. Dylan, we know Jack shot Sterling. Just the first shot. All right. It's the one that grazed him. I didn't say anything because I was trying to protect him. The same way he protected me when we were kids. Zapata shot him the way that you would put down a dog. He fired the only shot that mattered. Sir? I'm sorry. I've been driving around all night. I gotta tell you something. Tell me what? Your wife is right, sir. Hang on, just think about it for a second. I mean, look how you are with me. Not just me, but mainly me. And, you know, sometimes I deserve it, but I, I don't think I, I deserve this. I don't think anyone deserves this. Deserves what? That. That right there. You don't even know you're doing it when you're doing it. I mean, I think you should take the Sanger management course and get your life under control. You know, I mean, we, I care about you. We all care about you. Good night. Sharon is Sterling. He was part owner. So how'd you swing getting the restaurant? Oh, I have Dylan to thank for that one. His generosity or his stupidity for getting involved with the wrong people? A little bit of both, I guess. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do in return? Just keep up the restaurant's reputation. Make sure people never forget who made it what it is. That's it. That's all you have to do. It's a pretty sweet deal. Good. He bought it. And so will the jury. Only I don't buy it. Neither will the jury. Hey, so tell me you have something. I think we have a game changer here. I think you may want to reconsider your dinner invitation. That's Dylan's story, and Mag is sticking to it. Well, if she's lying, then Dylan is too. Right. I already told you everything. I mean, why would I lie? Maybe to get out from the shadow of Dylan? Take over the restaurant without having to lift a finger? I wouldn't do that. You know that the restaurant was used to launder money. I stayed out of the business side of things. Well, Dylan had a lot to hide, and he needed help. I had to back up his lie. I didn't want to. I never wanted to. We know he made you lie. All three of your stories are in sync for a reason. You still say that you saw Zapata leave the restaurant after the shots were fired? After the first shot, yes. yes. Everyone says that there was two shots, one after another, but I'm beginning to think that maybe there was time between the two shots. It's gonna come out either here or in court. The difference is you'll face perjury once you've been sworn. Zapata was literally walking out of the restaurant doors when, when the second shot was fired. That only leaves one person left with Sterling. Be ready in a minute. You're not going anywhere until you tell us the truth. I've told you the truth. 
several versions. Yeah, stitched together from bits and pieces of what actually happened. Look, I, I really don't know what you're hoping to get from me that I haven't already told you. You bought Meg to silence with the restaurant. You falsified Jack's involvement. So what else aren't you telling us? They know. We had a good thing coming. Why'd you have to go and run it? No. You shot him. What? You shot him and you framed Zupata. Who set me up? You even know where you hid the gun? When Sterling found out how much money Zapata was making from the money laundering, he wanted in. He knew who he was getting in bed with right from the beginning. That's not what his wife said. Well, then she's either a liar or blind. I take it Zapata didn't want to share the wealth. Zapata gave the gun to Jack. Just like he said. Told him to shoot. Jack's always been the tough guy. But he didn't have the stomach to kill a man like that. But you did. Good morning. Am I the only one that thinks a celebration is in order? You know, that was very clever of you, setting up the scene of the crime so that Dylan would confess. Well, thank you. If you hadn't signed off on the dinner, none of this would have been possible. This is a surprise. What? Oh, nothing. Nothing. It's just nice to see you two getting along. Why wouldn't we get along? Yeah, two strong women expressing our opinions, doing our jobs. Why wouldn't we be supportive of one another? No, I just mean... Uh, what do you mean? I have no idea. That's what I thought. I gotta go. I'll call you about lunch. Terrific. Uh... Hey. Hey. Hi. Look, I'm, uh... I really overreacted about the whole thing. I mean, how were you supposed to know that right. I was allergic to little furry things? <coughs> I was thinking, maybe if you're free tonight. That... Yes, yes, I am. I'm free. <clears throat> what? Come on, oh, now. Not again. Kelly, <laughs> excuse you. You all right? Uh, okay. Is there a problem? Okay, no. Are you okay, man? No. Oh, she's allergic to him. Sorry about that. Uh, Mr. Bay? Yes, sir? Um, you know, I'm just uh, looking out for the day. I'm going to take this little guy home to see the kids. That's great, sir. I just wanted to say, um... Thank you. It's no problem, sir. Have fun with Cynthia. Uh, she's a girl? I guess.